What's going on guys? So you might have seen my video recently where I bought a Nintendo DSi from eBay, uh, more specifically a hot pink Nintendo DSi. And I actually got a package that didn't have a DSi. Um, it has something else in it. I'll link it up in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, but basically, you know, I contacted the seller and apparently it was an honest mistake. And so this right here is supposedly actually the DSi. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. So. As I said, it's supposed to be a hot pink DSi or some sort of pink, um, you know, pink or purple, something like that. And I believe it comes with, you know, the DSi, obviously. Uh, I think it comes with the original uh, case, or not the case, the, the box. And I think it does come with the case maybe in some, some pretty decent games. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside of here. All right, so good sign. We got some games. Classic packing foam that I really don't like that stuff, but... Uh, all right, so what have we got? We got Atari Greatest Hits. Okay. Um, got the game in there, booklet and everything. That's nice. What else we got? We got Big Brain Academy. Okay. Um, Star Wars Force Unleashed. Feels a little light. Okay, just got the game. That's fine. Uh, we got Monster Jam Urban Assault. Okay, sure, why not? You know, I don't remember all the games like that were in this package. I just remember... Um, seeing some decent games. So Dino Master, <laughs> Dig, Discover, and Duel. That sounds... Wait, Duel? Hold up. So you dig up a dinosaur and then you make them fight or something? That's... Looks like some sort of, like, I don't know, Pokemon hybrid thing. That's that's interesting. Uh, Juice 2, Hot Import Knights. I don't think I've ever played this game. Sounds pretty solid. And, yep, there is a case here. Here's the box and here. Some more games. These are the solid games right here. So we got... Kirby Mass Attack. No, I've never played that. Got Mario Kart DS, which is classic, and New Super Mario Bros. That was also a classic. Um, looks like we got a couple of game cases as well. Just the uh, this is one of those fancy cases where it like opens up on both sides, which I think is pretty cool. I mean, you guys may have seen that before, but I haven't seen that before until recently, which I think is pretty cool. This looks like it's just a standard DS case. And what else do we have in here? So we got. Kind of a, this is just like a pocket sleeve, not a pocket sleeve, kind of just a sleeve for the DS. Um, which funnily, funnily enough, or funny enough, it's for the Nintendo DSi XL, which I'm pretty sure this is not an XL, it's just a regular DSi, I think. So it's kind of interesting that they included this. I guess it'll fit, but probably a little big. And then of course down in here, I think there's a return label, some, yeah, down in here is a return label, which I can used to send back the other package that was incorrect. And here is the box to the actual DSi. And as you can see, wow, I didn't, I don't really notice this in the pictures, but the box is pretty jacked up, I guess. It's got this mark here. I can't even tell what this is. It almost looks like a Sharpie, but not really, because it's like these weird splotches. It's almost, <laughs> it's like a cow, to be honest, uh, where it's just like white with some like random black splotches. Um, that's odd, but. You know, I didn't expect the case to be, or the, the box to be in perfect condition. It's just kind of nice to have a case, or I keep saying case, but I mean the box. Um, it's got a box here, and as you can see, on the front it kind of advertises a camera, music, store, you know, Wi-Fi, that sort of thing. I think that was the big difference between the DSi and the DS Lite, um, is that they kind of added some more, you know, up-to-date features like a camera, um, internet. Oh, this is a thick manual. Dude, holy crap. That's pretty nice, actually. I did not realize the DSi came with this nice of a manual. Like they got its color and everything. Wow, that's that's impressive. They even got some additional stuff in here. Try taking photos. Um, ah, the classic Nintendo Power. That magazine ended a while ago. DSWare. I remember hearing about that, but I don't remember exactly what DSWare is. Now, let's toss all that stuff to the side. And here is the main event. So we got the, the DSi right here. And of course the charger. Um, what is this? This looks like some sort of auxiliary auxiliary adapter. I'm not sure why this is in here or if I'll need it. And we got a pink stylus. Um, it must be extra, yeah. So the DSi already has a stylus in it and then it just gives an extra uh, purple stylus. Um, and then yeah, this is the charger, the proprietary charger. It's classic Nintendo, you know. Um, but let's take a look at this, this DSi, because that's the that's what we're all here for right here. But here we are. So let's go ahead and scroll through this thing a little bit. Um, I'll probably make another video in the future, kind of going in depth. But 
We got this flip note studio. No idea what that is. Got a browser, got a shop, picto chat. Um, oh, they got picto chat. I thought somebody in my last video told me they don't have picto chat on the DSI, but I guess that's wrong. Um, internet, download play, DSI sound, camera, um, nothing in the game slot, and system settings. Let's just check out a couple settings, see what it looks like. So we got Ashley B. No idea who that is. I guess that's who owned this thing, you know? Um, but yeah, I mean, it looks like it's working. Um, I don't think I've ever actually held a DSi in my hands before. Um, it's, they got a lot of, a lot of space for applications. I don't even know if there's that many applications available for the DSi. I guess so. But up here we got our power lights. I guess there's a charging light and then our Wi-Fi light. What else do we have on here? So we got our, um, our cord right here for headphones. Uh, just our stylus port right here. And, oh, we got an SD card slot. Let's see. Nope. I was hoping somebody left us an SD card, but nah, nothing in there. And then we got the DS um, game slot. And of course, this right here is our charging port. And it looks like it's got a camera button. All right, so yeah, guys, here's the DSi, you know, as I showed you. Uh, let's go ahead and go through the games real quick again, just to kind of refresh our memories of what we got. But the DSi looks in pretty good condition. Um, I'm kind of, I'm satisfied, you know. You know, they sent me the wrong, um, <laughs> the wrong console at first, which, as I said, I'll put the link in the description. Um, but it looks like that got all that resolved. But let's, let's look at these games one more time. So we got Big Brain Academy. Um, so, you know, you can kind of do some brain games, which is kind of fun. I'm uh, not going to lie. And then we got Atari Greatest Hits, which is pretty, you know, self-explanatory. A bunch of Atari games. Um, Juiced 2, Dino Master, which sounds really interesting to me. I have no idea what it is. Uh, Monster Jam, Urban Assault. We got Star Wars 2, Force Unleashed. And we got the good games right here, Super Mario, new, new Super Mario Bros, uh, Mario Kart DS, and Kirby Mass Attack, and then of course, some random cases. And actually, here's what I want to try real quick is, does this DSi fit in this DSi XL case? Well, I'm, I'm sure it fits, but I wonder how it fits. So yeah, it obviously fits, but it's got some, got some wiggle room. I guess it works in a pinch, um, but you know, obviously not a very tight fit. So I almost forgot that we actually need to test out a game and make sure this thing, you know, can actually play a game. Probably the most important part. Let's go ahead and try New Super Mario Bros. Or Mario Kart. That's the one that fell into my hand. Go ahead and plug it in. And, okay, cool. I think on the DS Lite, you actually had to restart your console to play a game after you plugged it in. But it looks like that's not the case here. So yeah, it boots up. Um, I guess we can go ahead and test, test it out real quick. I can test this touch screen. Yeah, it's working. Um, this is a classic game. I used to play, I played Mario Kart a lot, like, you know, whenever the DS was big, I guess like a decade ago now, or maybe more than a decade. It's been out for a while, obviously. Um, but it does look like it's working, so that's a good sign. You know, obviously I can't really do an extensive test in, uh, you know, this setting, but it does look like it's working, which is good, and I'm off to a bad start. But, uh, yeah. So thanks for watching guys. Again, I got this uh, DSi and these accessories from eBay. Um, I guess I didn't mention the price earlier, but I think I got it for like 95 bucks plus shipping and handling. So it was probably like 105, 110 after it was all said and done. But you know, I'm pretty satisfied with the condition of it and all that sort of stuff. And you know, thanks for watching guys and have a great day.